Ask your neighbor, let us all stand now. We pray this prayer. We need what? We need what? Ask your neighbor, do you have compassion? And your neighbor say, lift up your hands. Ask God to guide you to live a holy life. Prayer. Ask God to guide you to live a holy life. That's where the life of compassion will come. Father, guide us to live a holy life. Guide us, Lord. We need to live a holy life. In Jesus' mighty name, that people receive through you. If you want to know how far are you in the things of the Spirit, check how long you pray for yourself and also pray for others. If you spend 10 minutes praying for other people and one hour for yourself, you are selfish. The Bible says already, God knows what you want. In other words, it's not by prayer you pray that you receive what you want. You can read the, the book of Matthew 6. He wants to give you. Amen. He wants to give you something. God wants to give you. He knows what you want. The Bible says, seek the kingdom. All will do what? Will follow. When you seek the kingdom, you have got what? Compassion. You have got compassion. You are solving the problems that if God was there, will solve. That's the reason why I'm here. The reason why I made this service, I told my mother, is to pray with people because Satan is oppressing people. Satan wants to kill people. He's so praying with you. And it's to pray for God, to raise people that will also pray for others. We, we, that's why I did Adulam there. The reason why I have Adulam I want people to pray, to believe in prayer. And people who believe in prayer, they have got compassion. Daniel is, is one of the persons that in the Bible was prayerful. A prayerful person, Daniel. Look what Abraham also. He was a prayerful person. He said, Lord, if you can save this, if you find this one, can you save Sodom and Gomorrah? He was not selfish to his boy Lord. Look at Daniel. He was staying upstairs, but he was still crying for Jerusalem. Let's lift up our hands. We ask God to give us a heart of compassion, prayer. A heart of compassion. It's a heart that hears God's voice. Oh, Lord, give me a heart of compassion. Oh, Lord, give me a heart of compassion. In Jesus' mighty name. This is the prayer you can pray every day before you leave your house. Lord, give me a heart of hearing you. Because a heart of compassion is the heart of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will tell you that 
bless that one. Take this gift to that one. And the Bible says you cannot just scatter your seeds without what? Without harvest. I have experienced a serious harvest with Mama. Uh, I, I told Mama, Mama, it seems as if there are some people who come to our church, they want money of rent, we give them this, that food. And then from there, they are in the church, when they get jobs, they disappear. Mama says, oh, oh they don't know, they don't know. We are doing it for ourselves. Some people, they don't know that whatever you're doing, you're doing for for yourselves. I said, Mama, why? She says, I don't know. I said, no, I'm concerned about their soul. Mama says, no. If they are there for food and they forget about God, it's for themselves. We don't want them to think about food that they are lacking for when they are coming to church. If they are lacking, we'll supply. But if they forget God, it's for themselves. Even ourselves, we are doing it for what? For ourselves. Sometimes you bless people, they rebel against you. It's for what? It's for themselves. So don't worry about why they, this and that, why they did that. No, you did it for what? For yourself. Because the Bible says there is no labor that will fall in vain. And God will bless every, la every labor labor in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Can you lift up your hands again and begin to thank God that God is giving you a hearing heart, a heart that will be flexible in the hand of the Spirit, a heart of compassion, a heart that will hear the direction of the Spirit of God. Prayer. Thank God. Thank God. Do that when you are clapping your hands, thanking Him. A heart Lord, I thank you for the heart of hearing you. A heart of compassion. A heart of a winner. Carry on, carry on, carry on. In Jesus' mighty name. Now you know that your promotion in the spirit is not only in your prayer. Because prayer, you know, is also coming from where? From your heart. Promotion in the spirit is in your compassion. Your compassion produces works. Now, those works are rendered by faith. Now, when you stretch your hand, you want to heal people, you feel anointed. The reason why people are not anointed today is because of what? Because if you are blessed now, you'll be, you know, if you ever find you are very rich, and the tar road is coming from your road, from your house only. The tar road is coming from your house only, like that. Because when you are blessed now, you will be selfish to yourself. So the reasons why God wants to lift you is not only for yourself, it's for the whole nation. I pray that this year you'll be a blessing of the whole nation. I pray that God will lift you to be a blessing in your family. Blessing in your nation. In the name of Jesus. I want to give you a secret today. You must go with it. Whether you like it or not, but go with it.